This time of year, bears are waking up from their winter snooze and looking for something to eat. And where they are looking for food could be in your backyard. In the last couple of weeks, police and the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife have gotten a lot of calls about black bear sightings. So how do you keep the bears at bay? And what should you know if one pays you a visit? News at our Maine, Shannon Moss is in her backyard with some answers. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Cindy. That's right. There has been black bear sightings all over the state. In fact, Eastern Aroostook, we've had them in Bangor. From Yarmouth, Portland, and Falmouth. Yes, right in my backyard area, not too far from 295, which is about a quarter of a mile uh, from here. And I got to tell you, it's certainly not rare. We have about 35,000 black bears in Maine right now, but sighting them or seeing them in more populated areas, yeah, that is a little more unusual. Black bear sightings in Maine in April, May, and June are not uncommon. But the sight of one can certainly be unexpected. It's unsettling to look out the window and see a bear in your backyard. Falmouth Police Chief John Kilbride says his dispatch center received five calls in one weekend about bears. We've had some sightings around the Falmouth Road and Buckton Road area. Knocked over bird feeders. Uh, they went after a bee's nest, grabbed the honey. And when they emerge from their winter den, they have been, you know, living off their fat reserves. They're really hungry. Who can blame them? Maine black bear biologist Jennifer Vashan says bears have a big appetite, and this year, that's a big problem. There isn't a lot of natural foods out there for black bears, and so they're going to take a few more risks. Like sneaking into your backyard to check out your bird feeder. Bird seed is really um, energy rich for black bears this time of year. Bears also think your trash is pretty tasty, too. And they're also... Um, very good at getting into garbage. Bear sightings in more populated areas is a little more unusual. Vashon says it may simply be because people are home more because of the pandemic and there is less natural food for them than in previous years. A lot of our um, nut crops are on a two year cycle and then um, Moisture plays a big role as well. Vashon also points out that Maine's black bear population is growing 2 to 4 percent annually. Bears will become more common in places that we're not used to seeing them. So what do you do if you encounter one? Vashon says don't approach the bear, just back up and never run away. Bears are pretty uh, well behaved here in the east. But they are a wild animal and they have the potential to cause harm. So um, you have to keep that kind of in perspective. And of course, if you want to keep black bears out of your yard altogether, it is recommended by Maine black bear biologist Jen Vashon to make sure that you keep your trash inside. Don't put it out until the morning of trash pickup. And also, I know if you're a bird lover, you might want to bring in your bird feeder from April 1st to November 1st when, of course, bears are the most active. Pat, we'll send it back to you. Well, the birds may have something to say about that, but thanks, Shannon.